What's up YouTube, this is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Well, I'm gonna say in this situation, the Pokemon that I fear the most is the... Probably the Mega Slowbro, because the Mega Slowbro has tons of defenses, and if that's his last Pokemon, then that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Like, last Pokemon, like, after, like, I kill all the other Pokemon or something. Okay, so hopefully he sends out a Pokemon that is kind of susceptible to Crobat. I know he knows I'm going to pick Phenosaur, so... Okay, he picks the Slowbro first. That's cool. I do have... I have Phenosaur for this Pokemon, so that's not that much of a problem. So with that, I'm going to go for the U-Turn. Okay, good. So... Which means that he is definitely going to go for an attack. Okay, now should I go into Rotom to predict the Psychic? Because... Let's see. That's right, he has Regenerate, so... What I'm actually going to do... I'm going to go into Rotom. Alright. Hopefully he uses like Psy Shock or something like that. And oh Trick Room. Alright. So yeah, he's gonna be faster now. Which could be kinda bad. Hmm. So a good play would be Will O Wisp. Because he's probably gonna switch into He's gonna switch into every other Pokemon besides his Embor if he has it. And he knows I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. So you know what? I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Because, yeah, if he switches into the, um, there we go. If he switches into the Tanker Grove, then he'll be Will-O-Wisp and he'll have his attack in half. And he goes to the Steelix. Alright. That's cool. Well, Ah! Jesus, man. Ah, at least, man. Alright, so... Should I go for the will wisp again? Ah, so lame. I'm gonna go for will wisp again. Probably gonna go into the Embor. Oh no, he goes to the Tangro. Alright, cool. So, good. Alright, that's cool. This is who I wanted to wisp anyway. So, that's perfect. I'm glad I went for the will o -Wisp again instead of the Hydro Pump. I was debating in my head if I should go for the Hydro Pump. But I'm glad I made the right decision. Okay, so... With that, I can pretty much absolutely wall this Pokemon by going into my Phenosaur. And this Pokemon is burned, so he can't do anything to me whatsoever. So, that's pretty nice. Um... Leech Seed, not going to do anything to my Phenosaur. Phenosaur pretty much, let me see, he has that Pokemon that, wow, Phenosaur walls his entire team. That is crazy. If I were my opponent, I would most likely switch in this situation. Obviously not into Slowbro, but I guess into Steelix. And because the Steelix is going to be very weak to special attacks, so I'm just going to Mega Evolve here and go for the Giga Drain. Yeah, there's not really much my opponent can do in this situation. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's most likely going to go back into the Steelix. If he does not go back into the Steelix, then he's going to go into a dead Slowbro. So, you know, like, I am max speed, max special attack, timid nature. So, this isn't going to really bode too well for him. So, mm, Giga Drain. All right, and that's not a one-hit KO, though. Ah, uh, Citrus Berry. Okay. So he's not a Mega Slowbro. That you do not see every day. You do not see that every day. And the Dimensions turn to normal right in the nick of time. So that's going to be another free Giga Drain right there. Alright. So this is looking good. This is looking real good. So I can pretty much just go for Giga Drains, Sludge Bombs, and so forth. Um, even if he decides to go into his Tangrowth right here, he goes back into the Tangrowth. Doesn't necessarily matter. So, that's the Giga Drain. Alright, now what he might do, he might go into the Steelix to try to, like, bait me out or something like that. 
to bait me out into using uh, like a sludge bomb. But because I'm not worried about what this Pokemon can do, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he's gonna just like try to bait me, I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain again. Anyway. Okay, good. So Giga Drain still does tons of damage to him, regardless. And he goes for the sludge bomb. Sludge bomb, that's that's gonna do wow. That's gonna do absolutely nothing. I didn't even know this Pokemon can get Sludge Bomb. Wow, that's amazing. Because it's usually a physical set. So, you learn something new every day. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Sludge Bomb now. Let's go. Ah, uh, the Master's forfeited. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was. That wasn't. There was nothing my opponent could do. My Phenosaur just walled his entire team. So, that was that. And we're gonna have another battle again because why not? Alright. Battle box. Yes, so that was a very interesting battle because, um,. Well, even like the Steelix, the Steelix couldn't really have done much to me either, because it was just like Steelixes can just get Giga Drain, and they can't really do anything because their special defense is really that bad. So, you know, it is a Steelix. That's the whole thing going on. All right, so let's see with these Pokemon. Let's see. Should I choose Phoenix or no? All right, time to focus. Yeah, that... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Crobat first. And then I'm also gonna have Rotom. And Venusaur. Actually, instead of Rotom, instead of Rotom, I'm gonna have Conkelder. And Venusaur. Yeah, that Mega Gardevoir is very threatening. Yeah, that Mega Gardevoir can do a lot of damage to my team. Alright, and let's go. So I hope that if he does have the Mega Gardevoir on his team, I hope he goes straight for the Mega Gardevoir so that I can just go for the uh, Brave Bird right off the bat. Because I want to get rid of that, that Gardevoir. That Gardevoir is real scary. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch immediately because this Pokemon is most likely Scarf. And wait, then again, mm, yes, I'm going to have to switch immediately. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, knockoff or something like that. Alright, I don't have Rotom on this team. Exactly. Well, he's not going to use Earthquake, so I can be safe in going into my Conkelder. Then again, he might have the Mega Gardevoir. I probably, ah, this is bad, man. This is real bad. Yeah, yeah, this is real bad. Okay, the best thing I can do, ironically, the best thing I can do, because he's going to use U-Turn, or not. Well, the, the most ironically safest thing I can do is go for U-Turn, because, yeah. Yeah, that's the safest thing I, okay, good, good. So, um, that proves that he's not Scarfed, so that's a good thing. So... From there, I can now go into Conkelder and Rock Tomb. Void of the attack. 
All right, so I'm going to go for the knockoff. The knockoff is the best play in this situation. So yes, let's go. And is he going to go for the U-turn right off the bat? Uh, the fact that he went for the Rot Tomb means that he's a very interesting set. So I don't really know what to say about that. Okay, good. So he's he's just a, he's a multifaceted type of Pokemon. All right. So this knockoff will do a lot of damage to the Gardevoir if he decides to switch into it. Or even if he decides to go into the um, Aegislash. There we go. So boom, I knock off the Aegislash. All right, now he might have the you know what, Life Orb, knocked off the Life Orb, so that's cool. Uh, wow, I rarely see Aegislashes with Life Orb. That's very interesting. Usually it's the weakness policy. And okay, good, stance change. Um, I kind of was expecting him to go for the, um, what you call it, like the protect, so that he could lower my attack. That would have been nice, but he probably didn't have any protects. Or the king shield, so, I mean, that's that's good for me, though. So, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'll take that. Alright, so now it's the God of War. And he traces me, traces my guts. Alright. So... Let's see, his last Pokemon is that. Okay, so I'm gonna stay in, obviously. And I'm gonna go for the. Well, he's gonna go faster. So I'm just gonna go for the Mop Punch. So I can do just a tiny bit more damage. Because he's gonna be faster than me. So, yeah, this is gonna be a quad resist, but at the very least, I can do something. Alright. So, this Mop Punch is gonna do. Uh, not that much but I'll be able to go for the cross poison or even the brave bird yeah so I might just go for the brave bird yeah the brave bird should be able to kill and I won't have to yeah yeah yeah. I'm just gonna go for the brave bird because I have I have all my health so I'm not worried about that and the brave bird will definitely kill this Pokemon all right so there it is the brave bird is about to assault down upon this Gardevoir's existence. And he's making decisions. Making this Okay, good. So the Brave Bird is pretty much just going to annihilate this Gardevoir. And he's probably thinking that I'm not Choice Banded. But everybody always... That, that crit didn't matter, folks. It just didn't matter. And... That's good. That's good for Crobat. So I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. Alright, this turned out real good. I like this. All right, so intimidation. So now he's not going to use earthquake. So I'm just going to go into Phenosaur because I want to have all of my uh, health for the uh, Brave Bird potential. So we're going to find out if this Pokemon does have. Oh, that's why right, he does have Rot Tomb. Yeah, he has Rot Tomb. Okay, and Rot Tomb just not going to do that much to a Phenosaur because it's just not. Um, hmm. Interesting. Earthquake could, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Earthquake, maybe. But then I'll have extra defenses, so. Yeah. Yeah, the Giga Drain should work from here. Alright. And I might even be faster. I might be faster, because he has Rock Tomb instead of Rock Slide, which is kind of odd. And I'm like 328. Okay, he goes for Earthquake, so. All right, we're gonna find out if it kills Phenosaur. And it does not. Good, just that extra defense boost, I had a feeling that that would be the case. All right, so that's good. And another Giga Drain. There we go. So this actually, you know, I'm actually kind of worried whether Brave Bird would kill this Pokemon or not. I hope Brave Bird has enough power to kill him. Because if it doesn't, that'll be a huge problem. Alright, so the Brave Bird. Will it be able to kill this Pokemon? This is literally the most clutch moment of this battle. Can it be done? It can be done! No crits! We Going in with the Brave Birds, baby, all day long. Winning those battles. That's what we talking about. Good stuff.
Good stuff, Crobat. I'm loving it. We loving it. Everybody loves it. The Brave Bird, baby. Ah, love Brave Bird, Crobat. It's, it's so good. It is so freaking good. Man. Oh, by the way, um, some of you guys may have noticed that I have just kind of like not been there for a while and that's because I have done some pre-recordings for the past two days so I either have done pre-recordings for the past two days or I have done whatever or I have finished what I've needed to have been doing for the past two days and I have then just still been in the comments anyway or then I okay what I'm basically trying to say is I have things that I have to do so I most likely may still read my comments like I normally do and then just respond like I normally do because I just like love doing it or I don't know I I'm kind of rambling at this point but I just okay I pre-recorded videos for the past two days that's it that's it all right I'm glad you guys enjoy these battles and I will see you in the next video my fellow Dragonites Take care.